JD here, how are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. So today I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of everything, I think. <laughs> so I got a little bit of plant meal here. So it's one plant in here. I don't know, can you even see me? <laughs> I've like propped this up on, on my table and I feel like it's a weird angle. But yeah, I've got some plant meal in here that I'm gonna have to plant, like pot up and then I've got uh, some other plants that I'm going to try and pot up because I need to try and save like some space now. So <laughs> I need to like, put some plants together and yeah anyway so how are you all doing how's everything going how is life everything's going all right I mean it's boring because you know lockdown but lockdown's actually I think over today so like we can go back to I mean everyone's been pretty much normal anyway but so anyway I'm gonna get into this hopefully um oh why are my scissors so sticky not quite sure these are not the right scissors um let me try and get my snips so uh, yeah, I should probably clarify my like vlogmas. It's not like I'm I'm not going to be doing it every day because that's just I think a bit much. But I will try and do like I said a couple more videos. I'm not sure like how many more videos because you know like time and stuff, editing. I'm 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 the, you know I'm not the best editor, but I'm like peculiar about how I edit stuff. So we'll we'll just see how it goes to be honest. So oh please be good. We've had such cold like weather. It was like. Oh my god, I think it went down to freezing. Oh, the sun's right on my eyeballs. Wow, right on my eyeballs. Um, yeah, we got really cold. Okay, it's like right in my right in my face as well. <laughs> so you can like see everything on my face. We had super cold temperatures. And so I'm hoping that this did all right. It looks like it did. So this is a Crassula mucosa, I think. It's commonly known as watches chain. I think that's right. If it's wrong, I'll put it like, you know, down below, but I'm pretty sure that was correct. And I don't, wait, how do I, I'm always so, I seriously don't know which way to go on the camera. I saw this and I was kind of like, I just, I need to have it. I like it. It looks really cool. I was never really into it before. And then, I don't know, I just saw it and I was like, this is really nice. I need to have it. So I'm hoping there won't be like a lot of cold damage. And I don't know, can I propagate that? I'm not sure. It's like a really, tiny piece. I don't know if I'll be able to propagate that. I might just like put it on soil and see like what happens. But yeah, I don't know, like when these, gr oh look, another, be another piece fell off. All right, I'll see if I can propagate that. But yeah, I, I just kind of wanna, I don't know, I like how it grows. I just think it looks really cute. I'm gonna try and take the soil off just because, you know, in case of pests or anything, cause you never know. Um, I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be able to get this off. I need like a paintbrush to get into these like, crevices to get off the rest of that soil oh that's so annoying <laughs> what am i gonna plant this up in that is another question i need to find some pots oh my god it's hella bright now because literally the sun is right there why uh, i think this pot will be big enough i don't know it should be all right right yeah so you're probably wondering succulents right because you know i'm like i don't like succulents i don't Mainly I think it's Echeveria <laughs> that I don't like. Echeveria are the ones that I've always had problems with and I've never been able to, to keep alive. But like other succulents, I'm not too bad with. Like I have, um, what is that called again? The money plant, the jade. It's another Crassula, the jade plant. I've managed to keep that alive. I have no idea how. It's again, probably neglect, because I just like neglect it so much. And what else? I've got like, couple, I've got a couple of other like succulent type plants, but like, I just thought I'd try it a bit more. Because <laughs> like I said, I think the more you try with plants that you don't, you know, you're not very good at taking care of, you like learn and then it gets easier to take care of them. So I need to also, eh, I'll just use this because I've already had cactus soil. Oh, I've got a little bit of cactus soil in here. I wonder if that'll be enough. Ah, it's like falling over. I don't know, maybe we'll put a little bit more. Do you have this plant? How do you find this plant? Because again, I'm scared that I'm gonna like kill it because you know, like over watering. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep it alive. And I was thinking of doing like a fairy garden, but I just don't have enough like plants. And at the moment it's like really hard to find kind of plants to do a fairy garden with. I feel like this is so floppy. Hmm. Maybe this was not the correct pot to put it in, I don't know. Maybe I should have planted it a bit deeper. Oh, I don't know. Is this meant to floop down like this? Or I, I swear it's meant to like, is it meant to grow up? I'm sure they're meant to grow up, but this is like flopping down. Hmm, have I done something wrong here? Have I done something wrong? Let me know. <laughs> 
And then I don't know if I should water it because what it had, I think it was growing in cocoa core. It was quite moist. So I'm not sure if I should water it or not because like this feel like they feel very, what's the word? Like, you know, thick and juicy. <laughs> That's probably not the correct term, but you know what I mean. I don't think I have a cash pay for this either. Uh, maybe, we'll find, we'll figure it out. So yeah, that is my uh, quick plant haul of my crested as watch ch watches chain, watches chain. <laughs> Why can't I not speak? Oh my lord. So yeah, there's that. Oh yeah. So I guess you just lay these on top of the soil, right? These little pieces of like that fell off. I think I'm just gonna like place on top of the soil, and I'm gonna then water it and see what happens and see if it like roots or not. Or actually, I have my propagation station here. Got a little prop going, like pepperomia props. I actually might just like stick them in here. I don't know if the humidity will help or not, but uh, hopefully it like won't kill them. So let's just kind of, I don't know, yeah. I just kind of plopped them. No, nope, you can't see. <laughs> nope, where are they now? I'm like, I put it in there, can't see it. So yeah, I plopped them in there. Just gonna put that back on top, air it out a little bit. And then hopefully they will propagate. Right, yeah, so I have this Calicia Rosato. <laughs> I was like, crap, what is the name of this? Calicia Rosato. So basically when I got it, it was doing really well. And then I don't know what happened. It just like died. It was basically dying the entire time. And I don't know like what it was, what was going on. So I basically took apart, took apart the entire plant and propagated it. So I have this this chunky guy <laughs> so this is one part of the propagation that I was uh, I was able to do which yeah it's not so pink anymore and I have it near a grow light so I'm not quite sure is it getting too much light or like how I can get the pink to come back but yeah I potted this up yesterday because that's one part of the props but now I have these three left and I completely forgot about them and then I have this some of these are propagation, so I'm not sure, you know, if I should like dig them all up and then like pot them together because I have no more cocoa core left either. So, ugh, I don't know. I think I might just like stick them in. Oh yeah, and I have uh, my, what is this? Lepismian bolivianum. Uh, this is like a cutting because, uh, yeah, tragedy has occurred. It's not doing so hot, so I am trying to propagate it. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with this, like if I should just leave it in soil and see if it will come, like if, if roots will grow, because I am water propagating some other cuttings, but I'm not sure, like I'm not sure what to do with this to be honest. So I think I might just like stick it in soil and like hope for the best, like you know like moist soil. I'm just gonna like, you're not really able to see, <laughs> I'm just gonna take this out. So I am just gonna, I don't, uh, I don't want to ruin my props, but you know what, it's fine. I have enough plants going. So you know what we're gonna do is just, yep, we're just gonna plop all these out. <laughs> and then I'm going to just repot the entire thing pretty much. So I'm just gonna take some of the cocoa core out of what I have, what the hell's that? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's perlite, that's green. And then we're just gonna plop these in. You're probably seeing I have a sachet here. This is for the thrip, so I got my predatory mites for the thrip. I basically have like this whole bottle of predatory mites. I also have these like little sachets and I've literally put them everywhere. Like on every single plant that I have that I thought could have thrips, may have thrips, may not have thrips. I don't, I don't care. I literally put a little pile of those bugs everywhere. And then I had, um, I think five of these sachets. So I have one kind of like over in like my shelf behind me which you guys have seen in my dining uh my plant room tour and then i have one over this side and then i have these guys here on my table just because i think everything on the table is pretty much thrip thrip free except for these guys so these guys were the first one that i noticed the thrip on and then you know as you do you go look at your other plants and then you're like oh yeah you got it you got it you, you know so as a preventative measure as well like the plants that didn't have it, I, I put, you know, um, you like, you just pour it out onto the soil like a little mound and then, you know, the, the mites start climbing all up and finding the thrip and in the soil and stuff. So I haven't, like, I'm, I'm, I'm touching wood here, <laughs> touching like the chair, touch wood, that 
I've, I've pretty much been able to handle my thrip infestation so I haven't like these aren't for the adults they're only for like the larva but I think that they're doing a really good job you know because if you kill the babies you know that's 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 a start um, and I think I've been able to kill most of the adults because I found a whole bunch on my Manjula pothos there was like five adult like adult thrips and I, ju I just squished them yes it's gross but I literally just you know squish them between my fingers like I pull them off and squish them yeah not not the, you know not the best way to do it <laughs> but it works so I'm not sure like if the mites have been working like eating the babies before they can get to an adult form or the adults have just died like I don't know but yeah I highly recommend why has my phone just gone dark I know I highly recommend that you get predatory mites if you are like suffering from throat I think these work and definitely as like a preventative measure these last like in the sachets four to six weeks now the ones that I have in the bottle this has just turned into like a throat predatory mite video uh, the ones in the bottle I'm not sure like they if they have ideal conditions they will like reproduce but I don't think I have enough thrip around for them to reproduce so you know I might just buy these every once in a while and just stick them out just in case you know to like prevent an infestation actually happening so you know you get the babies before they be able to turn into an adult so yeah anyway that was my long-winded uh, thrip explanation treatment update thing <laughs> So now we're going to get back to this. So yeah, I think I'm just going to plant all of these here. And this plant I find a little bit, let's just, just go back so you can see what I'm doing a little bit. This plant I find a bit finicky just because it's thirsty. I find it a very thirsty plant, which is why I have it in Cocoa Core. And you can see like these roots are so like fine. Okay, now the sun's decided to go away. Again, I'm so directionally challenged with the camera. <laughs> but yeah, these are like an excuse. Yeah, my nails are slightly chirped. Oh my God, I have to do them again. Okay, and then I don't know if I'll be able to get the third one in. Can I get the third one in? <laughs> oh God, come on, get out. Oh look, now I have a cash pay for my Cressula. <laughs> Works out perfectly. <laughs> they are related to Tredescantia and they are very easy to propagate. All right, I'm trying to squish these all together. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to like get all of these guys in here. And yes, the ideal would, I'd have them like both of these in one pot, but I don't have like a smallish pot for them. Like, you know, big enough, smallish half pot for them to all fit in. So I'm doing two different planters here. So I have to care for all of my props. Hopefully they'll, uh, also end up in here so yeah some of these ones that just look scraggly I'm just going to cut them off at a point if you can see like all of that is like bare because the leaves have been like damaged because of the threat I'm just gonna cut and propagate so you cut at a node so if you don't know what a node is it's kind of like these knobbly bits along the stem Nope, it's not focusing. But it's like all these knobbly bits, or even you know where a leaf is, you take that off, the roots will grow from there. So it's, they're very easy to propagate. If you've never propagated like a Tredescantia or this before, it's really easy. So I think I might actually keep these. No, because I can't be bothered. I'm trying to save space. <laughs> I was going to be like, I will make another propagation station with these. No. Uh, I won't because again I'm trying to save space on my dining room table I'm trying to get ready for Christmas and have enough space you know on the table so I'm gonna have to move quite a lot of my plants anyway and I have nowhere to put them I'm like where am I gonna put all of my plants I don't know so you know that's gonna be <laughs> another challenge over this uh, coming few weeks of where to stick all my plants because I thought I could you know put them all on my shelf that's behind the dining room but uh, because you know I'm, I'm struggling with bugs at the moment I'm like uh, there's some plants that I just don't want to put over there so I don't know if I will or not so yeah I'm just gonna again try and stick all these guys in wherever I can yeah all right now I just got a backfill and like press these guys in a little bit can I even get in here to backfill I, I, I don't know we're going to try. We're going to try. 
I think it would look nice as well if I top dressed it with like some stones, but I just, I, it's too cold to go outside. <laughs> I do not want to, I do not want to go outside today because it is freezing. No snow yet though, no snow yet, unfortunately. It looks a bit weird on this side. I don't know if this will survive. I should probably just cut them all and propagate it, but I can't be bothered. So, I mean, it looks kind of cute though. Like drape, whoop. One of the props fell out. <laughs> Draping over the side here, I kind of like it, but yeah, that is the Calicia Rosate. And if this propagation would like to stay in here, it would be equally nice. Okay, so that's just gonna sit over here. And now, so I've got my props of soil. These actually have roots already. My Lapisium Bolivianum. I don't know how to get this to like stay in here because I don't want to like force it, if you know what I mean. Now I was looking for like hairpins because I usually have like a hairpin that I like, you know, attach these in with, but I'm gonna just very gently kind of just cover this bottom bit up. No, I'm not, because it, it, it doesn't want to stay. <laughs> I'm trying to like dig a little trench for it and it's, it's having none of it. Okay, that's just not gonna work, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I need it to sit up that way. You know what? I don't think I have any cocoa recorder. But what I'm going to do, take out all of these though, the leaves, is try and make a little thing in here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda plop it in like that. And then as you can see, like that. No, can you see? And then hopefully it will start rooting like that. And I'm just going to leave it over here with the other props. Okay, so I've just watered it. I've just watered my Cressula. And I'm just going to give it a quick spray down with some hydrogen peroxide. Just in case. You never know what creepies can come along. That is... Oh my god. Too close. Too close. <laughs> so yeah, that was my little vlog. I know it's probably it's not really... I'm not really doing a lot, to be honest. I don't know what to film over, like, Vlogmas. I don't know what kind of stuff you guys would be interested in. I know I have, like, some ideas, but um, I'm not quite sure, you know? Let me just turn my plant light back off. If you guys have any, like, stuff that you would like me, you would like me to film, then let me know. Um, if there are any questions you would like me to answer, also, you know, put them in the description block, bleh, description box below, and then maybe I can do a video of, like, a cute, Oh my god, I can't speak today. <laughs> Maybe I can do a video like a Q&A. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you guys soon with another one. Bye!